One solution being proposed to solve the problem of delivering all the necessary cargo to the moon is to build a space elevator. It will run between Earth and its satellite on a thin cable of nanocarbon fiber, which is much stronger than steel. A cable of this fiber, one twentieth of an inch thick, can hold a five-ton load. If we drop such a cable from the center of the moon, the moon faces Earth with one side. This cable will not be wound around the moon. It will hang under the force of gravity, directed right to the center of Earth. If this cable is covered with a thin film of superconductor, then it will be possible to move along it, using a magnetic field to rely on it without friction. It's thought that it will be so quick that the elevator will take us from Earth to the moon in just three or four hours. It would allow us to transport everything we need to construct a habitable space on the moon in the shortest time possible. Using ion engines, you can easily send some cargo to the moon, even if it takes a long time. There would be no need to build a large heavy rocket to deliver it there. If it is profitable and we manage to do it, then the idea might come to life. In addition, the elevator will help us dispose of lunar and terrestrial waste that can be thrown into the sun while the cabin is moving. After all, if we accelerate the cabin along the elevator cables, we can reach speeds of, say, 20 miles per second. This is the speed of Earth moving around the sun. And at this speed, we will be able to release the cabin off the elevator. Having already lost its orbital velocity around the sun, and under the influence of the sun's gravitational forces, it simply falls towards it. And if we fill this cabin with all sorts of radioactive waste, it will burn away. The sun is like a nuclear oven that can burn it all. Transport links between the moon and Earth are a very popular discussion point between various specialists. However, so far these are only projects on paper, and it's still difficult to say when, if ever, they will be implemented. It has been physically calculated, but it's still not clear how to make such a cable. But we're smart. With the right funding, there is always a way. The question is more whether it's time to invest. <laughs>